Wow. Honest to goodness, Wild West era mental hospital. In 2001, a mentally ill man who had gotten help here before came back and opened fire. It's a very haunting feeling knowing that two murders took place right here. something or other tour. Today we're at the Nevada County Hospital in Nevada County, California. I've been trying to come here for years. Let's go take a look. Got a roundabout entryway. Building's been tucked away back here since the 1870s. Since the Wild West days. And it was in use until 2005, I believe. So it's been around. As you can see from the aerial shots, they kept adding on over the first couple of decades of this place's existence. So from the 1870s to the early 1900s. I honestly don't know if there's a way in here. I don't think there's a way in. I've checked every window, every door I can find. While it mostly housed the mentally ill, in the 1980s, due to prison overcrowding, they started housing inmates here. So it was kind of dual use for a while. I mean, this place is really creepy the way it's tucked in the woods, way up in the mountains. For a while, this was known as the HEW building or the Hugh building, which meant health, education, and wellness. Courtyard goes to nowhere, everything's bolted shut. Come around this other way, see if there's a way in. Oh, this place is creepy. Bunch of raspberries growing out here. As you can probably guess, this place is amazing for urban exploring so they really keep it locked up tight they've had a huge problem with people coming here partying breaking stuff as you know i don't condone any of that leave no trace i don't break anything that's why i'm not going to force my way in there's probably not much in there anyways i think the outside's probably the coolest part this is really amazing it's right off the road if you come by here you could pull off and take a picture in front of it but as far as getting in uh, that would take a lot of extra effort you could definitely picture zombies running out all these hallways. What are we docking here? This is really cool though. I couldn't imagine being housed here.
This hospital was not without controversy. In 2001, a mentally ill man who had previously been treated here was upset, he came back, he opened fire. Apparently he felt like he had been poisoned by whatever was going on here, and he was upset he couldn't talk to his psychiatrist. So I guess he just lost it and just started shooting. He shot three people, two of them died. Among them was 19-year-old Laura Wilcox. She was a patient here. She was only 19 years old. Absolute tragedy. Her family felt that she didn't need to be in a facility like this. So they lobbied to get Laura's law passed, which extended outpatient services, as long as the patients met a certain criteria. A lot of horrors in places like this, but the fact that there was two recent murders, I mean somewhat recent, about 19 years ago, is really a eerie haunting feeling. I wonder what that was. Anyone know what that Fiddler logo means? I love exploring abandoned places that aren't just an abandoned place, but it also has history and a story attached to it. For some reason, the chimneys are one of the creepiest parts to me. Why are chimneys so creepy? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to be like warmth and comfort? Nah, they scare me, I don't know why. see how much it would cost to either demolish or renovate this building, and it was millions and millions of dollars. So in 2011, they ended up just selling it to a private company. Due to legal reasons, zoning reasons, it's just stuck in limbo. They apparently wanted to make it residential units, probably tear it down and then build residential units, but for now, it's just sitting here, like a horror movie set. Call it a day, I can't get in. This has got to be one of the eeriest places I've been. Luckily, it's like noon right now, so it's not as creepy as it could be. Maybe we'll come back at night sometime. All right, kids, that's the Nevada County Hospital aka the HEW Hue building. If you like this kind of stuff, check out our abandoned and urbex playlist. We also got a Wild West playlist, a Historic Places playlist, a Creepy playlist. We also have our Patreon if you want to help us further along on these adventures with exclusive content, including a behind the scenes podcast. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things that cool kids do for a life. Something or other tour. This is right next to Nevada City, which is amazing. This was my first time in Nevada City, and it's like a Wild West fairy tale. It's just, it's beautiful, it's amazing. So it's being added back to the list to come back and do some full explores of the whole town. In better times though, non-pandemic times.